Every day, this huge bear visited the cemetery, and no one could understand why. One day, someone saw the bear visit and watched as it roared. What happened right after was extraordinary. On a cold evening, while everyone in the town of Pasadena retired home from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, Kate navigated the quiet streets toward the cemetery. Nestled in the back seat of her car were vibrant flowers, a tender offering for her father's resting place. It had been three long years since she had last visited the village, but a recent somber message drew her back. Her father, a pivotal figure in her life, had left this world, and now, she sought solace by visiting his grave. As she drove down, she remembered what her aunt had told her a few days ago when she came visiting. It was a cautionary whisper to avoid the graveyard in the evenings. Rumors circled that an unwelcome visitor, a bear, had taken to roaming the sacred grounds. The bear had become a regular night visitor, haunting the resting place with an unexplained persistence. Kate had struggled not to laugh in her aunt's face. Such stories bore the weight of childhood caution, reminding her of tales told to keep restless spirits away. Bears and bedtime stories had once shared a realm of fictitious fears, but life in New York had dissolved such notions. However, she still remembered her past as a forest ranger here in Pasadena. She had met her fair share of bears during that time, and she considered the possibility of a bear's presence drawn by scents that might signify food. Yet, she found it perplexing that a predator would develop a routine of visiting a graveyard. The logical ranger within her dismissed the childish tale, and she continued her journey to the cemetery with a tinge of skepticism. As she approached the graveyard, the woman's thoughts shifted. Grief seized her heart, momentarily drowning her other thoughts within. Her father, who had been a mentor and confidant, had occupied a special place in her life. In the blur of responsibilities and the passage of years, she had not graced his home in a long time. Instead, she settled for phone calls, prioritizing a bridge built on words rather than physical presence. Her father had been her role model. Her decision to follow in his footsteps as a forest ranger had been more than a career choice. It was a tribute to a man whose connection with nature bordered on the magical. The tales of his connection with animals now stood as echoes in her grieving heart. Upon receiving the news of his demise, her world crumbled. The weight of missed opportunities to visit, to share moments with the man who shaped her, pressed upon her soul. Crushed by the reality of his absence, she decided to leave behind the bustling life of New York and relocate to Pasadena. She hoped to feel closer to him by living in his home. As she approached her father's grave, each step seemed to carry the weight of the memories they held. The air hung heavy with grief as she delicately placed vibrant flowers upon the cold stone. She wept silently, a cascade of emotions pouring out in the quiet solitude of the cemetery. Yet, amidst her sorrow, an unexpected disruption stirred the tranquility. As she was weeping, she heard rustling in the nearby bushes, but dismissed it. She only paid attention when the sound grew louder, escalating into a disconcerting crescendo. It seemed that something was approaching. As the grieving woman turned to investigate, she was confronted with a sight that sent shivers down her spine. A huge brown bear was steadily making its way toward the cemetery. Fear gripped her, and instinct kicked in. With a sudden surge of adrenaline, Kate propelled herself upright and abandoned the tranquility of her father's resting place. Racing towards her car, she fumbled with the keys, urgency lending swiftness to her movements. The engine roared to life as she accelerated away, leaving the looming bear behind. When she arrived home, she couldn't erase the event from her memory. The encounter lingered in her thoughts like a haunting ghost. After much deliberation, she rationalized the incident as a chance occurrence. It was simple. The bear had been drawn to the cemetery by a fleeting scent, perhaps her own. But it must have left after failing to find something tasty to eat. There was nothing for her to fear. Two days later, she found herself once again winding through the quiet roads leading to the cemetery. She spent an hour in quiet sadness, remembering moments shared. Though she knew that the chances of seeing the bear again were very low, she kept her eyes peeled for any unusual movements. As she walked to her car at the end of her visit, Kate chuckled at herself for being on edge. A nervous laugh escaped her as she got into her car, but just as she started the engine and was about to drive away, 
the most surprising thing happened. The same bear that she had seen the last time she visited was making its way towards the cemetery again. This time around, the bear looked at her through her windshield. Frightened yet again, she started her car and drove out of the cemetery as fast as she could. Driving home that day, Kate's mind buzzed with questions. Could the rumors be true? Did this bear really visit the cemetery every evening? What could be the reason behind this strange behavior? By the time she reached home, her fear had shifted into curiosity. The unknown compelled her, and she made up her mind to unravel the mystery behind the bear's peculiar routine. The following day, armed with a small telescope, some snacks, and essentials for her stakeout mission, the determined woman set out. Parking her car at a discreet distance, close enough to observe with her telescope, but not so near as to alert the bear, she prepared for her investigation. An hour of patient waiting passed, and just as she hoped, the mysterious grizzly bear emerged from the shadows. This time, free from the initial shock and fear, she could fully appreciate the magnificent creature before her. The bear loomed large, surpassing any she had encountered in the past. Observing closely, she noticed something peculiar. The bear didn't seem to be following any scent. Instead, it moved with purpose as if having a particular destination in mind within the cemetery. With the telescope trained on the majestic animal, she studied its every move. The bear, oblivious to her presence, continued its solitary exploration of the cemetery. The ranger adjusted the telescope, focusing on its movements with a mix of fascination and a growing sense of connection to the animal. Kate was about to receive the shock of her life. As she continued her quiet observation through the telescope, the unfolding scene took an unexpected turn. The bear navigated the cemetery until it reached a specific grave. It was not just any grave, but her father's final resting place. Astonishingly, the massive creature halted as if recognizing the significance of this particular spot. The air hung heavy with anticipation as the bear, standing before her father's headstone, emitted a resonant roar. Kate's eyes widened in shock, her heartbeat quickening. The wild beast paced around her father's grave several times, its movements almost reverent. Then, to her amazement, the bear lowered itself and lay in front of the headstone. This unexpected show of behavior left Kate spellbound. As minutes ticked by, the bear's silent presence beside her father's grave became a spectacle that defied explanation. Still peering through the telescope, the ranger absorbed the strange scene unfolding before her. After a few profound moments, the bear rose, as if concluding a ritual, and vanished into the depths of the forest. The echoes of its powerful roar lingered in the quiet cemetery, leaving the silent spectator in a state of bewilderment. Once back home, Kate felt a mix of awe and confusion. The surreal encounter with the bear lingered in her thoughts, and she found herself struggling with the need to make sense of the unexplainable. In her pursuit of understanding, the first person she turned to was her Aunt Anna. Anna, her father's best friend, held a special place in Kate's heart. Their bond went beyond familial ties, and if anyone could shed light on the extraordinary events unfolding in the cemetery, it was her father's sister. The next morning, Aunt Anna hurried over to Kate's home, concern etched across her face. The urgency in Kate's voice during the phone call had spurred her into immediate action. Seated on the couch, Kate took a deep breath before recounting the astonishing events at the cemetery. As she spoke, the room absorbed the weight of her words. The older woman listened intently, her eyes widening with each revelation. When Kate concluded the tale of the bear's ritualistic visit to her father's grave, she found tears welling in her eyes. Overwhelmed by emotion, Anna was silent for a moment. The connection between Kate's father and the mysterious bear struck a chord deep within her. When she finally spoke, her voice carried a mixture of sadness and fond reminiscence. She spoke of Kate's father, a man who had stumbled upon a wounded and solitary bear cub in the heart of the forest. Filled with empathy, he had brought the little creature home, nurturing it back to health with a tenderness that bridged the gap between man and wild. As the bear healed and grew, an unspoken understanding developed between the man and his newfound companion. The man knew that the wild was the bear's true home, and, with a heavy heart, he resigned himself to releasing it back into its natural habitat once the right time came. However, the first try was unsuccessful. 
Kate's father walked with the young bear until they were deep into the forest, but as soon as he turned back to leave, the animal started walking with him. When he tried to stop it, the bear moaned as if it was begging him not to leave it. Kate's father was moved to tears by this display of loyalty and decided to take the bear back home with him. However, he also knew that he wasn't doing it any favors by treating it as a pet. He had to find a way to awaken its primal instincts, and fast, before it was too late. So, from the following day, he started taking long walks into the woods with the bear, spending more and more time immersed in nature. He showed the bear the bushes where good berries grew, and even taught it how to climb the sturdiest branches of the local trees. Within a few months, the bear started entering the forest on its own. He would always come back at night, but it was spending most of its days in the wilderness now, just like nature had intended for it. And despite the sudden loneliness he felt, Kate's father was proud of this change. It meant that the bear had healed and that its instincts were pushing it towards the place where it truly belonged. So, when the bear didn't come back home one night, he shed one single tear and wished it the best, thinking he would never see it around his property again. But he was wrong. Despite its newfound freedom, the bear still seemed somewhat attached to the man who had saved it and raised it. Their bond endured, and soon enough, the two developed a heartwarming tradition. Every evening, under the embrace of the setting sun, they would meet in a quiet spot to spend precious moments together. Years passed, and the ritual of these evening rendezvous became a steadfast part of their lives. The man and the bear formed an unlikely friendship, transcending the boundaries that often separated humans from the untamed world. The bear found a mate and built a family, but the old man who had been such a part of its childhood remained a steadfast presence in its life. When Kate's father eventually passed away, the bear felt the void left by its human friend. Unknown to Kate and Aunt Anna, the bear, yearning for its companion, had traced the familiar scent to a scarf placed on the man's grave. This scarf, a cherished possession of Kate's father, had been a token of their enduring friendship. In a gesture of love and remembrance, Aunt Anna had kept the scarf on the grave, unaware of the impact it would have on the grieving bear. Aunt Anna's revelation illuminated the deeper layers of the bear's actions. It wasn't just a random creature in the graveyard, it was a friend mourning the absence of its human companion. The ritualistic pacing, the roar, and the quiet moments by the grave were expressions of a bond that even death couldn't sever. Later that evening, Kate immersed herself in her father's belongings. Among old letters, journals, and artifacts from his days as a forest ranger, she uncovered a tapestry of his connection with the natural world. Notes on animal behavior, sketches of the wilderness, and heartfelt entries spoke of a man whose bond with nature transcended the ordinary. In a weathered journal, she stumbled upon an entry that confirmed her aunt's story. Her father had written about encounters with a specific brown bear during his days as a ranger. The bear, according to his entries, displayed unique behavior and seemed to share a connection with him that went beyond the ordinary understanding of wildlife. The following evening, Kate and Aunt Anna returned to the cemetery, carrying with them the essence of Kate's father in the form of his scarves. Each woman draped herself in one as a silent tribute to the man whose presence seemed to linger in the quiet corners of the graveyard. With a sense of anticipation, they settled in, their eyes fixed on the surrounding woods, waiting for the mysterious bear to make its nightly appearance. As the minutes stretched into a patient vigil, the air seemed charged with expectation. Kate's heartbeat echoed the rhythm of the forest, and Aunt Anna's gaze darted between the shadows, half expecting the massive form of the bear to emerge. Just as the sense of doubt crept in, there was a rustling in the distance, and the bear emerged from the depths of the woods. The large predator entered the cemetery with the same purposeful stride. The two women, wrapped in the scarves that once belonged to Kate's father, watched with a mix of trepidation and curiosity. Then, a moment of astonishment unfolded. Midway through its usual path, the bear halted abruptly. Its colossal form swayed as it caught a scent. Kate and Aunt Anna exchanged surprised glances as the wild creature turned in their direction. An instinctual fear gripped Aunt Anna and she urged her niece to retreat, to drive away to safety. However, Kate, 
drawing on her knowledge as a retired forest ranger, sensed something different. With a calming reassurance, Kate convinced her aunt to remain. The bear, showing no signs of aggression, began approaching them. Unlike aggressive bears that might snarl, growl, or raise their fur, this majestic creature demonstrated none of these threatening signs. Its movements were deliberate, lacking the erratic pacing or aggressive posturing often seen in animals feeling threatened. The women stood frozen, their eyes wide with a mix of awe and anxiety as they observed the approaching bear with a blend of awe and trepidation. As the bear closed the distance, its size became more apparent, towering over the trembling duo. Yet. Kate could sense a serenity in its movements, a lack of hostility that defied the primal instincts associated with wild creatures. The bear, reaching a proximity that sent shivers through the women, surprised them with a gentle display of affection. It began licking them, one after the other, in a gesture that conveyed a surprising tenderness. The enormity of the wild creature expressing such a gentle affection left Kate and Aunt Anna in a state of shock. As the bear seemed to mimic a hug, the women, overwhelmed by the surreal nature of the encounter, struggled to comprehend the unfolding scene. Summoning her courage, Kate extended her hand toward the massive creature. In a surprisingly gentle response, the bear lowered its head, allowing the woman to pat it. The connection formed in that fleeting moment seemed to bridge the gap between the untamed and the human heart. The trio, composed of two women and a wild bear, proceeded to the grave of the man they all held dear. After a while, as if guided by an unseen cue, the bear turned away from the grave. With the same purpose that brought it there, it retreated into the forest. The echoes of this surreal encounter lingered in the evening air as the women stood in contemplative silence. Driving home that night, Kate felt a profound mix of emotions. The encounter had surpassed the realms of her understanding, leaving an indelible mark on her soul. The scarves, once worn by her father, now carried the scent of the wild bear and the shared moments of that extraordinary evening. It was a memory that surpassed the ordinary, a testament to the mysterious ways in which the natural world and human hearts could intertwine. In the days that followed, Kate and Aunt Anna revisited the cemetery half expecting the bear's return. Yet, the wild visitor remained elusive, leaving them only with memories that defied explanation. As Kate drove home on subsequent evenings, the scarves draped over her shoulders, she carried with her the imprint of a bear's affection and the legacy of her father's extraordinary connection with the untamed world. The encounter became a cherished chapter in her life, a story she would always recount with a mix of wonder and gratitude, and a reminder that, sometimes, the wildest hearts could express the gentlest affections. What a remarkable story! Have you ever experienced a connection with nature that defied explanation? Would you be able to stand still if you saw a wild bear approach? Share your thoughts below, and stay tuned for more enchanting stories that remind us of the magic in our world.